Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on C programming series and this is a very interesting video because it will tell you that what is the difference between constant character pointer and character pointer constant. So I have written this but still don't get confused with all these lines. I'll explain all these things with the actual program. So we have a character A and that is actually pointing to uh, let's say capital A and now let's try to understand what is this first thing which is const character pointer let's call it ptr is equal to address of a so as this is pointer then it will obviously take address of something right so this is character pointer so it will take the address of character so this is clear right let's say we write character pointer constant ptr let's say this is one and this will also take the address of a now like what is the difference between these two lines so the first line is it says it is a pointer to a constant character so you would have noticed by now that we read from backward so we'll say this ptr is a pointer to a constant character so you might say if you are reading from back then why are you not reading like this ptr is a pointer to character constant that is also true because these two things can be swapped meaning i can say like this character constant they are exactly the same now i can say this ptr is pointer to a constant character what do i mean by this it means this is pointing to a constant character it means i cannot change a it is pointing to something which is constant with this i cannot change this Let's try to do that and we'll see it will throw an error. So dereference PTR will say, let's make it B. Okay. And I'll try to compile this. See, it will tell you that we cannot do this because it is read only variable. We cannot modify this, but we can do one thing. If there is another character B equal to, let's say B in that case, I can easily say now address of b should go into this pointer because this pointer is not constant it can point to anything after initializing this to this address of a we can change the pointer to point to now address of b so this is a pointer to constant character so here character is constant not this pointer now you are getting the point right yeah so that brings us and yeah wait let me compile this so that it will be yeah, see, it, it got compiled. So this is possible. Now let's talk about this guy. This is constant to a character pointer. So it is telling that this particular guy, pointer PTR1, is constant. Meaning, once you initialized it with address of A, we cannot initialize with this PTR1 with address of B. So if I will do this, it will tell you that pointer1 declared constant. I cannot do this okay so here it is really very simple if you read backward everything is so smooth this ptr1 is constant now you have told already that this ptr1 is constant then you should know that if something is constant you cannot change that right here what did you said this ptr is a pointer to a constant character meaning here the character is constant not this pointer now it is making sense right so the key to remember this is reading from backward and don't go anywhere. We are missing this third line here. Actually, this line is like top of everything here. We said this guy is constant. I cannot change this with this PTR here. I said this guy itself is constant. I can change. Yeah. Now one thing is pending here. I can say address. I mean, dereference PTR one equal to I can easily say C here. You remember you were not able to do this here because it was constant. But here I can easily change this. I will comment this out and try to compile. See it got compiled. No problem. So now you got the point, right? Yeah. Let's talk about this guy now. So this is like superset of everything. If let me complete this. Okay. We have this and I would say this time I have constant character pointer constant ptr2 equal to let's say address of b 
Cool? Yeah. Now, this guy won't allow to change the pointer itself. Like, we cannot do ptr2 is equal to maybe address of, let's say, c. If there is something like character c is equal to c, then we cannot do this because this ptr2 is constant like this guy was, right? But we have one more thing. This time, what it is pointing at, that pointer is also constant, meaning we cannot change C also, okay? Let me try to compile this. Okay, it said that, okay, variable PDR2 is constant, so we cannot change this. Let me try to dereferencing and then simply making this C to let's say D. And if I will try to compile this, it won't allow you because variable is not assignable. Okay. So through this PTR2, you cannot modify this C. Or yeah, I mean, I was not pointing at C right now, but you got the point, right? I will recompile this. And yeah, so you understood the point. So how are you going to read this? This PTR2 is constant pointer to a constant character. And remember this, you can swap these two, you can say, character here and constant here. So then it will make more sense. I mean, in programming also, you can just use this. Generally, people say constant character, okay? You won't see this pattern. So now if you read this, PDR2 is constant pointer to a constant character. So now everything is constant. Nothing is allowed to change through this PTR2. If you will, let's say, if you will comment this, I mean, this is an obvious case. You can say always like C to maybe D. So this will obviously compile, right? You are going to change this C, which is a character. So you can change this. Yeah, no problem. I'll compile this for the sake of completeness. Yeah, it was fun, right? Yeah. So if you learn something new today, guys, don't forget to hit the like button, man. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.